Kenny Omega says it's not the elite against CM Punk and encourages fans to let it go. The Great Muda is going to team with Sting and Darby Allin in a retirement match. Dijak returns to WWE NXT and Reggie is revealed as scripts. Hey there everyone, you're watching the latest. I'm Denise Salcedo and let's get right into today's news story. We're gonna go ahead and kick it off with Kenny Omega who recently did a brand new interview in which he says that it is not the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega against CM Punk. Take a look. Ahead of AEW Dynamite from Punk's hometown of Chicago, Kenny Omega spoke with SI.com and noted that he is unable to address speculation stemming from the backstage altercation at All Out 2022. He also encouraged fans to move away from it because there is no information to be released. Saying, quote, there are things no one can talk about, so I encourage people to let it go. It doesn't change that we want a team effort in AEW. I don't even mean implicitly myself and my opponent. It also means the referee, the fans, the people who set up the ring, everyone. Even a technical error can ruin the memory of a match. I can refer back to the exploding barbed wire death match, so I encourage people to move away from it because there is no information to be released. Though I cannot talk about it, I do want the fans to know I still want the best for pro wrestling. He continued on to say, This isn't Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks against CM Punk. It is people trying to show off their craft. You can boo Kenny Omega or the Young Bucks or CM Punk, but I hope people don't forget we're human beings struggling to show our art. Kenny Omega also spoke about returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling to wrestle Will Ospreay at Wrestle Kingdom 17. Kenny Omega started it off by saying, that he is returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling as an ambassador for AEW and as an ambassador of pro wrestling. Saying, quote, I'm also returning home. I left to start this new exciting opportunity, but it's still home. Darby Allen is headed to Japan in January to take part in the Great Muda's retirement match. Pro Wrestling Noah has confirmed that Muda will team with Sting and Darby Allen in his retirement match on Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. Their opponents have yet to be announced. The match will be Keiji Muto's final bout as the Great Muda character. Muda's retirement tour will also see him face WWE star Shinsuke Nakamura at Noah's The New Year 2023 on Sunday, January 1st, 2023. Dijak returned to WWE during Tuesday's NXT attacking Wes Lee. After Lee had successfully defended the North American title against Carmelo Hayes, what looked like cage bars closed on the video screen. Lee turned around and walked into a chokeslam by Dijak, who was referred to only by his last name. Promos for the returning Dijak were seen starting at Halloween Havoc last month. The first promo showed T-Bar's mask being burnt. Subsequent promos showed Dijak talking about bringing hard justice to NXT. Dijak had mainly been wrestling on main event prior to his NXT return. And more NXT news, Scripps has officially made his in-ring debut on NXT. The Mask Man, who is the former Reggie from the main roster, faced Guru Raj in his debut match. He picked up the win with a Molly Go Round. Reggie hasn't been seen on WWE television since the September 5th edition of Main Event. He's a former WWE 24-7 champion. He had not been used on television much since Triple H became head of creative. In recent weeks, promos have been airing on NXT featuring a character with a disguised voice telling the WWE Performance Center via answering machine that he was coming. That is your quick news roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch you later tonight on my AEW Dynamite post show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, airing here on F4W Online.